Hey guys, welcome back to the shop. Uh, today we're here for a painting video, so another video of the 750 project. Uh, today we're painting the tank and painting the seat cowl and a few little parts. Now I've prepped the tank and the seat cowl that's already hanging there, all ready to go, uh, all primed up and masked and everything. Now we got that red here, this is the race red um, from Ford, so the color code is PQ. Um, we got this from that Tristar color brand, it's a German company, not sponsored, we paid for this, well Killian did. It's a three stage paint, so it needs a white base coat first, then comes the red and uh, then clear coat. So yeah, without further ado, I'm gonna get into it right now because I'm a bit in a rush. Uh, it's I think 10 in the morning right now and I got to be at a birthday party later this afternoon and there's a lot of painting, letting it dry, waiting, painting again, doing the same all over again and then masking, doing the deco, the black, clear coating. So it's gonna take me uh, probably the full day. Did you find my head? No, my bird. Da, that's my face. There you go. Yeah. Ready to go. White paint is in the gun, ready to go. Um, yeah, little accident happened, I'm already full of paint. First update after the first coat. Yeah, paint seems to be all right. It's actually, it's, it's water-based paint. You know, I wanted, I wanted to have solvent-based paint because I hate doing decos on a motorbike with water-based paint. But yeah, it was nothing precise in the description when we bought it and I was kind of thinking that it's solvent. But no, it's water-based paint, so let's see how it goes. Um, First coat is, even though it's very thin, it seems to cover very good. So now I'm waiting maybe five to ten minutes and I'm going back in for a second coat and do the same again and third coat. And uh, yeah, then I'll update you when I'm starting the red. Alright guys, so the white is completely finished now. Three coats of white. I'm probably going to leave it uh, about probably an hour. So I start with the red uh, to make sure it's completely dry. It's what it says on the... On the box and uh, yeah it's a bit cold in the shop I got the heater in the box now so that it's drying a bit better um, so yeah a good hour to wait uh, I'm gonna get undressed I'm gonna go get myself some lunch eat something chill a little bit and uh, yeah in one hour we start with the red so stay tuned so the white is dry now it's been uh, I don't know an hour and a half or something I left it a bit longer because I did not want to take the risk so here's how it looks it's pretty much a <laughs> Just a white tank and a white coal here. So yeah, it's all dry. Now I'm ready for the red. Red is in the paint gun, so yeah. Let's go with the red now. And let's hope that everything works as planned. Okay, so red is finished. Um, this is how it looks now. Ta -da -da. There's a bit of, tiny little bit of uh, dust here, but I mean in a paint box like this, it is, uh, it is kind of normal. There's no way wrong. That's it, on the tank, and here's the seat cowl. So yeah, I think the color is pretty cool. It's a very bright red. Uh, it's gonna pop for sure once they're uh, once I clear coat it. It's gonna look really crazy. Uh, here's my little here's my little test panel. Um, so now I'm actually I'm changing my plan. Uh, I was planning on doing the black deco on the test panel, like I said, and test it and everything. But now this is already like six coats of uh, base coat and it's water base coat and I don't really want I would need then to take the um, to take the tank and put it back on the motorbike so that I can mask the line and follow the frame and everything and then put it on my workbench and mask the wings and all of this um, but in my opinion it's already too much base coat and I don't want to take the risk to play around with it um, and then to just make some marks in the base coat or just damage anything and rip the red, the red off and everything and then I'll have to respray everything. So I'm gonna clear coat it now, the way it is, and uh, then I'm gonna let it dry for a week. And in one week, I'm gonna come back and uh, send the clear coat again, do the masking, paint the black, clear coat it again, let it dry another week, then send it all again and then polish everything so that it looks just perfect. So yeah. I'm gonna get ready and I'm gonna clear cut this now, so see you. Alright, 
we're back at the shop. Well, I mean, I'm back because obviously you guys stay there. Um, I went home in between to finish masking those two parts here. So this is actually Wednesday now when I started this video was Monday. Um, so yes, yeah, this is the third day already. Well, I'm not doing this whole day, you know. I was just uh, doing this in the evening every time, but um, it turned out to be much longer and much more work than I thought. Um, so let me show you how it looks now. This is the tank here. Uh, so I masked up everything. We're gonna have the black bottom line here, then um, red line in between, then another black line here. Here's the Honda wing. And here's that design on top. There you go. Okay, like this. Um, with the red line in the middle. So yeah, it turned out to be actually much more annoying and difficult than I thought because I had a big, big problem with the wing here. Um, I got a little plotter at home and uh, this is actually airbrush foil so it's it's quite good like it's a good foil it's really really thin and it actually it's pretty flexible and it works good on round surfaces and stuff like this so I was like yeah even though this is a negative so stencil for the for the wing I really thought it won't be a problem uh, but it turned out to be a problem um, just the, the problem is here the upper part of the wing um, always wanted to go sort of up, you know because of the curved shape here of the tank I could not put it on like this would always go up and make that line here a little bit shorter and it would always shrank and everything and I could not keep the proper shape so this was really really hard um, at the end what I ended up doing I went home then I just plotted a new wing for the right side which I messed up first and um, then I ended up cutting it here before putting it on I just cut here with scissors here in between so the last part the top part of the wing here just took it off then started to stick that bottom part here and then I just marked on my transfer paper where it has to be and then just put this upper part here at the end uh, line it up a little bit and now it does go a little bit higher and instead of like this line instead of being a hundred percent straight it does just like kick up a little bit um, because it's following the shape but I mean you can't really tell like you can't see it it's just it looks all right and uh, it actually worked way better this way so i'm super glad that it ended up working because i was already like, panicking and thinking oh my god how am i gonna do this but now it's all fine um yeah i got this on both sides i measured everything a million times so it's pretty much spot on uh, i've done that top design here also also a bit tricky to get the same um curve here on both sides but I think it's looking great like this. Um, and this is the seat cowl here. So we're just doing the same designs here um, than the top of the tank. So following those two lines I made here and um, here then with the little red line in the middle. So I'm done painting the parts. Uh, I gotta show you quick because my lens is all getting foggy with a different temperature in the paint box. That's how it looks with the clear. Ooh, but it don't fall down. That's it. The tank. Got the springs and the side stand here, which I haven't painted before. I'm gonna try not to drop the camera on the tank. So I got four coats of clear in total. Like one thin one at the beginning and then let's say two normal coats and uh, the last one pretty pretty thick coat of clear um, so that I got enough clear to send sorry if, uh, if the sound is terrible in there the paint box is still on so it's a bit loud that's the seat cowl and here is the tank cap which is not very interesting um, but yeah I'm pretty happy with how it turned out you can see like the lines from the from the black were quite thick like you can still see them of course um, but they're way better now you can really tell that there's quite a lot of clear on um, top here they're pretty much gone so that's gonna be just just perfect for me to send the parts so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna leave it like this for probably a week 
to two weeks maybe, uh, depending on the weather and everything. It's pretty cold at the moment. If maybe there's a sunny day at the weekend, that would be awesome. Then I could just come here and uh, put the parts in the sun. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna wait till it's 100% dry. Then I'm just gonna send them, uh, send the clear coat with uh, 1000 and then 2000 wet until uh, there's no more lines, till it's all flat completely. And then I'm just gonna polish the crap out of it <laughs> so that it's really super nice and glossy. Uh, I really like this. So yeah, that's it for this video. Um, I'm gonna go home and chill. It's 8 in the evening and uh, I started this video, well, the video of today, six hours ago. So I'm pretty done. Um, so yeah, if you like the video, give it a thumbs up. Uh, subscribe to the channel and hit the bell so that you get notified next time I post a video so then you can see how it looks once it's all polished up and back on the bike. I think it's gonna look pretty cool. So yeah, if you're into it, Make sure, make sure to subscribe. Ooh, something scared me. <laughs> make sure to subscribe and I see you in the next video. Bye bye.